this is by far the coolest place I have ever worked. So we've got to get a cable from sort of that area there all the way along. I need to work out what the best route is. All the way along here, all the way along here, essentially. This office, got this wall here, which going up to this office block here, which we can perhaps get across there for the stairs and that. Well, do we try and find the loft space and bring it out one of these gable ends? Yo guys, it's Harvey here. I've been given permission to have a microphone today. It's been like the first time in a couple of days. This is what I'll be wearing. This is bloody outrageous. Look at that. You want to be in this? I mean, I mean, how's that even fair? Is that like barbed wire? What is that? Oh, God. Oh. Some concussions going on down there, isn't there? Okay. I don't even know what that is. Is that like a... Ooh. There's like a big, big hole down there. Okay. The cable's just chilling over there. I'm going to zoom into that one. Wait, that's the wrong one. Mm. Cable's just... Is that a cable? No, it's rope. Why is there just rope chilling? Hmm. All right, Jerry. Mm. This is the room. Look at this room. There's a, there's a, there's a bird there, look. Ghost! The ghost! Woo! <laughs> Looks like one. We should go this way. Look at this. Oh, it's theirs. Go this way. So, we've got to get a socket from. This is like, I, think, I don't know if this is the only one here. Yeah, twist. Oh, twist. We need to get a socket from there. From there. Down. Into here. And look at this, look at this. He wants me to work in this thing. Right, you know. He wants me in that. I mean, I mean, what, what kind of, what kind of mug do you take me for? A few moments later. Hmm? Okay. Right, so Harvey's going for it. The tunnel rat, as we call him at the moment, is going right down there. I can't believe he's doing it, to be honest. So, this is more than yeah. right down there. Okay. 
And he's gone. How are you going to get oh, back? <laughs> Well, he's gone. He has vanished into the abyss. I mean, I can't believe we got through there. I can see him shouting, so we're going to have a look at what's going on. I mean, it... where are you? <laughs> it's in the wall. Harvey's in the wall. Yeah. Can you get across? Uh, no. <coughs> not really. Keep your mask on. Uh, there's not really enough room for me to get round. Okay. So, right, can you try and go to the hole and I'll see if I can like feed it your way? Which hole is it? Actually, Steve, get a rod. Get a rod, get a rod. I'm getting a rod. Where do you want me to put the rod? Through this hole here? No, on the other side of the bridge bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah? What is to make out? There's light in there. We're going through this cubby hole. Harvey, oh, this little hole's a bit tight. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Sorry if you're going to get motion sickness, but Harvey is in this little gap here. And you can probably see him at the end there. Yeah. You're going to have to go backwards all the way back. Hmm? back. <laughs> I think if we review the footage, we'll... You hear me saying, are you sure, are you sure, how are you going to get back? Give me the rod. Doing it. So we're going to using our cable rods here. I need to take the phone down. There we go. But once you put your something in there and pull on it, it locks it in tight. It's a great bit of kit, to be fair. I think they're by Super Rod. We got those at the Elex show in Coventry, which is always an interesting event. Well, to be fair, the one we went to wasn't it? It was a bit naff. So we didn't go to the one the following year, and no one said, I got in class. So, <laughs> Harvey's grabbed the other end, which is back there. And then we've got to run it all the way along inside here. I mean, it's such an amazing building. I mean, as much as it is amazing, it really would keep you busy, keeping you on top of all this. So I've got nothing but respect. Okay, I might have to run back down to the cable reel. I might have to run back to the cable reel. Oh, you see, I've got it. Cool. And there you go, like that. Look, and I can pull on that as hard as I want, and that ain't going to come off. So. Super rod, top marks. I'm now going to go and help Harvey get out of a tight situation. <laughs> or I might just go and have something to eat and leave him in there. What do you think? Bless him. All right. Let's see if we can catch <laughs> Apparently, like, people falling through ceilings and banging their head get really good likes and views on YouTube. Well, it's a good if you're doing that. Yeah. Good lad. Yeah. 
And here it comes, the boy wonder. Woo! Oh, that one, mate. Top job. So, we are back. This is the end, what we've just got. Harv is out of his little hole now. We're crawling through the little area. I'm trying to. Now, like every loft in the UK, it is absolutely chuck a block with stuff. Is that a ghost? <laughs> that just happened. So we can run it along here, across the top, round the back. Yeah, there's loads of room for us. All the way along this wooden thing, this wooden uh, beam. Straight out the wall. And straight out the wall here somewhere. Now there is a cable there, look, Rav. Which makes me wonder. Makes me wonder what we can... So it's a coax cable. I think that goes down to the telly, perhaps. Cool. <coughs> right, okay. And get pulling. All right, guys. So we are about to drill the wall from my side. Change the mode. So when you do this, you kind of got to think. If there's hammer and drill, and there's just drill. And if you have it on hammer and drill as you go out on the other side, it normally blows the brick. But drill struggles to get through, so you have to try and wait till you get near the end of it. It's kind of pot like you got to just keep guessing, hoping you're going back and forward. Not even too sure I'm through. Am I through? Okay, I need to put the longer bit on. I'm putting the longer bit on, Steve. Okay. That whole drill bit. Let me show you. I mean, it's not like super long, but that whole bit went all the way through that and didn't reach the end. So, so Said so perfect. Said so I'm through that. I think you can see that from the angle. There you go. And then our okay, cable well there will feed straight through that. And I'm assuming Steve's recording on the other side. I don't think so. There it is, there's the world. So, Harvey's gone off to the shop to feed his monster habit. <laughs> That cable's then going to go into that, which is the office. Leaving the scene loud and clear. So this is how far I've got. In about half an hour, it's not too bad actually. So when I came down, I found a few of these clips. I decided it wasn't good enough. So I've gone back up and re-clipped some of them. You may see I've got some the wrong way, but horizontal, but look on my way. <laughs> Is that a friendly goat? <laughs> So we're about done now for the day. Um, we spent two days here. We've been working alongside Rutland Broadband, who's going to tell you a little bit about the system. Uh, this is at the top of the turret. I'm now going to pass you over to Steve. Okay, hello. I'm Steve Durkin from Rutland Broadband. 
We're at the top of the turret uh, in Bisbrook Hall and we've been working, as Steve said, for the last couple of days to bring 21st century connectivity to a, a very old building from a previous century. Um, as you can see, we have a Starlink satellite dish, uh, which is here in a great location, out of sight line, uh, but with the best possible view of the sky. We then distribute that all over the uh, the hall and the estate out to um, uh, the ancillary offices. Uh, so everybody is getting 250, 300 megabytes of, uh, of Wi-Fi and connectivity. And previously there was 10 meg at best. So this is a, a game changer for, for Bisbrook Hall. So that is this done now pretty much. I've got a little notch in the top here and just put a few cable clips in. But I just want to go through what we've done today. Let me spin the camera. So there's the dish, there's the Skylink, and we've absolutely smashed it really. We've provided state-of-the-art internet all the way across there, down there into that lounge. And we've also, there's Harvey on the edge of the turret. It's hard to appreciate where we are, but the size of this place is huge. And Harvey's been in all this loft space all along here all the way down there and that there's another building and from another video we was recording across from there all the way across there across the wall past the goat across that wall there into the office can you see the goat from there it's been an absolute killer in terms of back and knees from all the crawling around but we have actually managed it but look where we get to work so i can't really complain so what do you think people should do, Harvey, if they've enjoyed this video? Like and subscribe. <laughs> Hit the bell as well, don't forget to the bell. Perfect. <laughs> what it is. But even at 44 years old, I still find it funny talking on a walkie-talkie. Yeah, got you. Just dropped the radio in the back, fell off, I thought I broke it. Oh, it's uh, deductible out your wages, mate, if you break the radio. How much is the radio going for? <laughs> About four quid on Timo, I guess. <laughs> but I'm going to buy mine from Harrods. Not too sure, I'll Google it later. Plus interest. 